David Villeneuve of a Treasure Hunter and Author. It's a fairly warm and sunny afternoon here in Kent, England. The temperature's 23 degrees centigrade, 74 Fahrenheit. In a minute I'm going to show you how to use a digital camera to find buried treasure. The one drawback of using a digital camera in this way is that you need to have a fairly dark filter in front of the lens and then you can't see the image on the back screen. The way around this is to process the image on a computer. Now it's a fairly simple operation to take your camera out in the field, take a few shots, bring it back to base uh, and process the, 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 the images. If you find anything interesting you can always go back later and uh, investigate. Or you can take a laptop with you. For the purpose of this demonstration I'm using StepCam which provides a stable platform for both the camera and the laptop computer. With this arrangement I can process the images in real time. Using a power pack I can run this all day in the middle of the field if I need to. The coat draped over is just to shield the screen from the sun. We're just having a look at the view in front of the camera. As you can see there is nothing on the surface to indicate anything is buried below. Here I'm firing the camera direct from the computer. The image is downloaded direct onto the computer. As you will see the image is very dark but you should be able to see a lighter area bottom centre. Enhancing makes the image much clearer. And there you can see a typical gold aura. It's actually got bigger in size since the target was buried two years ago. The target will be under the centre of the aura where it is a little stronger and brighter. Here I'm running a line out from the camera to locate the target. And all I have to do is follow the line with the metal detector until I get a positive signal. That's four British gold sovereigns. And like all good metal detectorists, I check the hole to make sure I've covered everything. Empty. 